My name is Oleg Burzin. Uh, I'm part of the Equinix um, office of the uh, CTO, and I'm excited to be here and work with our partners, Siena and Unitas Global, on this exciting proof of concept that um, illustrates how a complex network environment could could be leveraged to, to deliver a uh, very resilient and high uh, quality of service. From the Equinix perspective, we're excited to provide a interconnecting fabric that's shown here in the picture, which is um, uh, our Equinix cloud exchange fabric with the ability to uh, um, instantiate uh, virtual network services as you see here in the picture uh, next to our switching node we have a um, uh, uh, NFEI infrastructure that customers could leverage to deliver um, virtual routing services as well as uh, service providers to deploy uh, things like um, uh, video cache or other edge processing uh, uh, functions, including IoT Edge. What's interesting here, very specifically when we worked with uh, Unitas Global, it was uh, uh, the ability to establish an EVC, a virtual connection, all the way from the CPE connected to an aggregating um, uh, last mile network across the Equinix uh, fabric all the way into the virtual function. And that um, is a powerful method of uh, enabling um, hybrid multi-cloud environments where the same virtual function not only provides access to the CPE, physical CPE, but also to um, multiple clouds and infrastructure capabilities, including the edge processing. Another interesting point here is that by utilizing Sienna Blue Planet's um, orchestration capabilities and uh, AI um, models and, and learning models, our platforms um, uh, are, feeding, are, are feeding inside information into Blue Planet to, to enable the redistribution of network assets without having to really um, uh, interfere with any uh, um, network infrastructure or routing uh, behaviors in the network. And that's a powerful method of um, providing for higher quality of service without um, uh, getting into the inter-provider conflicts by just the ability to redistribute the traffic. My name is Tony Thacker from uh, Unitas. I'm uh, head of the uh, Connectivity Networking uh, Group. Uh, we're partnering here today with, uh, with uh, CNN and Blue Planet and with our, our other partner, Equinex, to really uh, lay out an end-to-end -end experience for, for our customers from truly from the edge of the network uh, all the way you know, through the core of the network to the applications uh, in, the, uh, in the cloud of the network. You know, essentially what uh, um, Unitas is, is responsible for in this specific POC is really from the edge of the network, the tall shiny billings connecting that through several different access networks, um, you know, to uh, leveraging our, our Sienna 8700 platforms uh, to, um, to the, the Equinix uh, ECX uh, platform. Um, so we provide that last mile access for users and enterprise customers to get to private cloud or public cloud through the access network. Um, <coughs> Unitas is responsible really for you know, providing the edge solution uh, and, the, and the access solution for our enterprise customers. Thank you. We all know that um, most of the services are turning towards very high performance services that include a a strong uh, demand for uh, improved network performance, but interestingly, um, network complexity is also dramatically raising, increasing uh, because of the way the networks are transitioning to more cloud-based network technologies. Uh, the big challenge is downtime. Um, in addition to the access network having a lot more downtime, um, there is a lot of impact that is associated from misconfiguration. And what we want to move is from the present mode of operation with very little visibility and manual operations to a lot more visibility um, for rapid resolution of problems and more importantly from a proactive nature of doing things that would be across the service ecosystem and hopefully it's an AI driven service ecosystem. And the service ecosystem that we have established for this particular POC consists of a service provider that is offering CDN services across a global fabric spanning the Equinix Global Interconnect um, as well as uh, Unitas offering a access interconnect uh, to reach enterprise services. And what we want to demonstrate is 
a use of an AI-driven process that has basically this kind of a control loop uh, where we sense traffic uh, in addition to historical data um, and we discern and infer uh, the behaviors that are observed in this um, demonstration uh, in order to decide a suitable action. But more importantly, what we want to do is to have this be done across this federated set of operators for this complex service ecosystem, where a service provider is delivering services to the enterprise across these set of partners, and including a origin cache or a regional cache or an edge cache. Um, and the challenge is that each of these partners will have a certain level of visibility. Some partners may have only an underlay visibility, whereas a service provider could have both underlay and overlay visibility. So how can these operators work together in order to deliver highly resilient services? So we set up a demo network where we have a single domain uh, focus as well as a multi-domain focus where clients can come in my own domain or in, can, in a partner's domain. And then for this demo, we use a fictional scenario where we have a set of unexpected growth in video traffic uh, that results in some conditions. And we want to be able to predictively act on those conditions in order to avoid any degradation because that network performance is highly visible uh, to these customers. In the single domain case, the context is very simple. We have clients that are now requesting content being delivered from the origin server. And given that event, we observe some certain conditions such as a link problem. And we want to react, we want to be able to be proactive in identifying that link condition so that we can take the action to redirect the users to the edge cache. And the software stack that we use consists of observing the network state via our Blue Planet ROA uh, software suite and a, uh, observing the application state in order to understand the full context of what the user sees. Um, so we have the topology, network telemetry, and video telemetry. At this point, uh, we will show you the uh, Nova dashboard that we have built in order to observe such a telemetry. Hello, uh, my name is Mark Nevada. I'm with the office of the CTO here with Raghu from uh, CTO, as well as uh, Equinax and Unitas. Uh, Oleg Berzin, uh, Rodney Elder, and Tony Thacker have joined us on this POC. And what I want to walk you through now is a couple of the Blue Planet tools that allow us to uh, monitor underlay networks, underlay uh, overlay applications, make correlations about what may be happening to the quality of experience of uh, end users, and then take corrective actions on, uh, on, on, on those events. What you see here is uh, one of the Blue Planet applications called uh, uh, Nova. It's uh, an application that runs on the uh, Blue Planet Analytics platform. And uh, what it's really doing is uh, taking input uh, from the network uh, underlay, layer three, layer two input, uh, uh, things like uh, congestion events, uh, delays, and so on, as well as taking input from uh, uh, the videos that I've already started and I'm, ra I'm ramping up using the, uh, the single domain network that Raghu uh, talked about. As you can see here, uh, I can select a user that is streaming video and uh, Nova is collecting uh, telemetry from the actual video client itself. Uh, and so things like pause time, buffering time, join time are all metrics that are taken into account uh, to evaluate the quality of experience as well as potentially take corrective action should that QoE uh, degrade. I'm gonna switch now to um, another Blue Planet tool called uh, Proactive Network Operations. And this is the tool that typically a customer would use to evaluate the condition of the network, the overlay, the underlay, and take some potential corrective actions that the system is recommending. At this point, since I've ramped up the traffic, you can see that we have hit link congestion, and that link congestion happens to be over here between our Ottawa site and Hanover site uh, uh, in, uh, um, uh, for Siena Network. Uh, you'll see that link uh, changing status, and proactive network operations is now 
detected the congestion and proactively allows the uh, operator to select the corrective action. So it's not only identify the root cause, but also identify the corrective action, which in this case is to activate uh, an edge cache closer to where the uh, end users are experiencing a degraded QoE. I'm gonna select the execute button. And at this point, what's happening behind the scenes is uh, Proactive Network Operations is interacting with an Akamai uh, management and control system to activate the cache and uh, ensure the new clients that uh, stream video from the core cache uh, get redirected to that edge cache that I just activated. So as we saw what Marco sh uh, showed, uh, we have the ability to not only um, um, understand the state of the network, but also most importantly discern the behaviors so as to take the actions that can be necessary to correct the behaviors. And most importantly, when we go to the multiple domain case, um, we will have this kind of behavior where users can be redirected to the right edge, but at the same time, if the partners could determine the behaviors at the underlay and share insights to the service provider, then the service provider could use a global insight decision to decide how to redirect the users. Um, and this is a, a key principle behind having the ability to do proactive operations in an AI-driven way across federated domains um, to achieve ultra-resilient services.